All right, let's talk about Jimmy Garoppolo. One of my highest viewed videos on this YouTube channel was actually about Jimmy Garoppolo. It was after the Super Bowl when I was breaking down that final drive against the Chiefs and kind of what went so poorly wrong. So I decided to use a, a similar thumbnail, kind of playing off of that thumbnail for this video. And I really just want to talk about Garoppolo in his, what, Seems like his is his last performance in a 49ers uniform. They save a ton of money in cap space if they cut him. So uh, they might trade him. They might cut him. I think they'll probably cut him. But it seems likely that they're going to try to get the cap space and get rid of him. But anyways, let's just break down the game and let's talk about what happened. So first, we did have some stuff like this play where what's going to happen on this play is it's going to be zone coverage and you have George Kittle running over the middle. And it's actually kind of funny where if you remember against the Green Bay Packers, there was a similar play like this where Kittle was wide open and just dropped the football. Well, in this game, as you see, Kittle once again is going to get open. I mean, this is what Kyle Shanahan can scheme up better than anyone, right? Getting George Kittle open wide over, the, you know, right over the middle where he can obviously be very dangerous. However, Garoppolo is going to just sail this one a bit too high. So this stuff happened. I didn't think it was his worst day in terms of missed throws. We've seen him miss some throws uh, earlier, but it's like, you know, if you're going to be the guy without the biggest arm and, you know, it's it's typically tough when you also aren't the most accurate quarterback. That can make things a little bit more difficult. Like this one's another one, just a quick screen pass, and he's going to bounce that one. So again, it wasn't horrible in this game, but you definitely did see that stuff on tape, and that's part of why they went after, a, you know, Trey Lance, who again, Trey Lance will miss some throws too, but he at least has a cannon of an arm. I thought this play was fascinating. So what's going to happen on this one is it's going to be quarters coverage, and I think he's just going to lose Jalen Ramsey here is what's going to happen. Look at how when Garoppolo takes the snap, you're going to see that okay play breaks down but hey give Garoppolo credit he's going to be able to scramble out and try and make something happen that's a good thing that's a good trait in the quarterback when you can do that and there is a receiver who is open the issue of course is that I think he just lost Ramsey because you had a route that's going in that direction Ramsey covered it up and I think that Garoppolo just doesn't see that Jimmy G is going to make this throw, and quite frankly, that should have been intercepted. Uh, he got away with one there. So again, when I watch film, I don't just look at the plays that didn't work out. I look at the plays that, you know, shouldn't have worked out. That ends up being an incompletion, but it kind of goes to show this is another one of those reasons where if you're going to be a game manager, I think Garoppolo has made far too many mistakes over his career and over his tenure in San Francisco and why he probably will not be there anymore unless it's maybe as a backup role. Now, to be clear, to go over to a play like this, like, I didn't think this was Garoppolo's worst performance either. I thought that he did do some some nice things in this one. Like, this is a really good throw. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Brandon Ayuk on the top of the screen. It's a cover one blitz, so you have to get rid of the football quickly. But watch what happens. As you see, Jimmy G takes the snap. He is going to look in that direction. Makes the perfect throw, and you're able to get a big completion. That could have ended up being a touchdown, because Darius Williams, the corner on that play, dove to try and hit the ball and just wasn't able to do so. So again, that kind of a testament to the perfect amount of air to put under that ball for Garoppolo, and he got it just far enough to where Williams could not make the play, and he was able to throw a perfect one right there. So there were some good plays, and that's like a legit good play. And I also thought he did a lot of stuff like what you'll see on this one, where again, it's going to be a zone coverage play. And, you know, the 49ers, they love to run these zone busters. And for the most part, Garoppolo can do this stuff pretty well. So this is kind of why, you know, that last play and stuff like this, it's why I do believe Garoppolo will probably be a starter somewhere next year, even if it's not in San Francisco, because there is talent for Jimmy G. I think there is. Look at how right when this play begins, you're going to see Garoppolo takes the snap. And right here, so again, Shanahan scheming guys open, right? That's absolutely something that's happening. Any starting quarterback can be successful in this offense. Uh, you know, obviously, people talked about Nick Mullins and the great stats that he put up when he was with San Francisco, even though he's not that great of a quarterback. Kyle Shanahan helps a quarterback. There's no denying that. But look, as you see, uh, you know, again, maybe even a bit of a, a high throw and a bit behind, but still, he hits him. He's getting the ball down the field. These, these are the things that he can do. He can run an offense, although, again, he makes too many mistakes and probably misses too many throws for you to maybe win a Super Bowl doing it that way, although they came pretty damn close a couple of years ago, so it goes both ways. I want to break down the final play as well because, you know, this final play, uh, I've actually already I broke it down on a video by itself 
earlier, so you can check that one out if you want to, but I'll just break it down here because I think it's fascinating. I actually don't even hate the end decision that everyone made fun of him for, the interception part. To me, I think this is just kind of what Garoppolo lacked a little bit, was some killer instinct, I thought, at times, where the way this play works is it's actually going to be a blitz, but the way it is going to end up working out, you're still going to have a player covered in the middle of the field. There is an LA Rams player who's going to be covering the halfback on this play, but since the halfback is just blocking on this play, uh, sometimes what you'll do is you'll still rush the passer and basically, you know, they get an extra blocker, but you get an extra rusher, so it's all the same. Sometimes what they'll have you do is just drop back in the coverage. That's what they're doing here. So uh, it's kind of a good concept, basically, where it, it turns into like a cover one hole concept, but you still get an extra pass rusher. So, uh, you know, I like this stuff. This stuff makes sense. But anyways, when Garoppolo takes the snap, there is a blitz right here. So you have to get rid of the football quickly. Garoppolo is looking at George Kittle, who is going to be open for exactly one second, not even one, an actual one second, like a tenth of a second. If Garoppolo makes this throw now, they have a chance. Is it a great chance? I don't know. Because, uh, I mean, again, it's not even a guarantee you can make this completion, but if he, especially if he threw it a little bit earlier, throw with anticipation, you can at least potentially move the ball down the football field. And I think it's what Garoppolo should have done, certainly, on a third down and 13. Instead, he doesn't, which, okay, pressure is going to come. He tries to scramble out, is under pressure, tries to flip it, and that gets picked. I actually don't even hate the flip because if you get sacked, okay, it's third and 20. It's basically, or excuse me, it's fourth and 20. So it's basically game over then anyways. It's worth the risk at that point to just flip it up and hope something happens. But the odds of something happening there were very slim. The odds of something happening if he threw it to Kittle right away were you know, maybe not huge, but you know, pretty solid and a decent chance. And this is kind of, I think, why you know Shanahan decided to make that move in the, you know, this past offseason of trading three first round picks to end up with Trey Lance, you know, trading, basically giving up three first round picks for Trey Lance is because the hope is that Trey Lance won't make these mistakes, or at least Trey Lance will throw the ball earlier and has a bigger arm where he can get it there earlier to where it won't matter as much. So yeah, it's kind of end of an era a little bit with Jimmy Garoppolo, which feels weird, right? Because it's not like Garoppolo was this dominant quarterback, but you look at the success San Francisco had with him, you know, the win-loss records, what everyone brings up, it's, I mean, his win, per win percentage is over 70%. He has a 45 and 18 record, which is just obviously very high. He averages 8.4 yards per attempt, which is on the high side. His touchdown to interception ratio, 71 touchdowns to 38 interceptions. Not amazing, but good. And a passer rating of just barely below 100 at 98.9. Those are all the solid numbers and a really good win-loss record. And he's not a bad quarterback by any means, but he's just not the star quarterback that you typically need to get to the Super Bowl. You usually need to have, to have at least a very good quarterback to get to the Super Bowl. So that's kind of what this video was. It's kind of the, you know, the eulogy on Garoppolo uh, was this video, I think. And, you know, for 49ers fans, I do kind of wonder how you feel about this. Because I'm sure there's a part of you that's excited and optimistic for the future. For Trey Lance, every team is convinced their rookie quarterback is going to be a superstar. And there's reasons to believe it with Trey Lance. He has some really good qualities. A couple things I think he has to clean up as well. But he has some really good qualities. Uh, you know, he's a big boomer bust prospect, in my opinion. That's how I felt about him. So there's that optimism. But there's also kind of that, like, you know, Garoppolo did take you to two NFC Championship games and won one of them and nearly won a Super Bowl. Now, you could argue the reason why they lost this most previous NFC Championship game and that Super Bowl were both in part because of the throws Garoppolo didn't make down the stretch, especially in that Super Bowl. I thought that, you know, everyone brings up the Emmanuel Sanders overthrow, but it wasn't just that. It was, you know, there were throws when they were still up where, you know, people are criticizing Shanahan for throwing it, but guys were getting open. Like, the, he was scheming stuff up, and Garoppolo missed a couple of those throws and a couple of tip passes. There's totally a, a world where Garoppolo was a Super Bowl champ, uh, and maybe even a two-time Super Bowl champ, because they weren't too far away in this one. So, weird stuff with Garoppolo, but interesting stuff as well. Uh, he definitely had a big impact on football when he's been in the league, and hope you know, he'll still be in the league. We'll see where he ends up. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.